Uh, the first demo is a hybrid converge scaling in the cloud. I want to, uh, to demonstrate all of the, uh, of the possibilities uh, of our deployment. So we have hyper-converged cloud, enterprise, virtualization, and dedicated storage mode. So the first demo will be hyper-converged scale out in Google Cloud. Before we start, what we are going to see there, we are going to see 100 VMs running in Google Clouds that because it's HCI, we take uh, a part of each node uh, um, and run our um, uh, uh, storage. So it means kind of storage is an application. And we provide uh, file system services to application, in this case, uh, a kind of loader that is simulating uh, um, uh, simulating load, file system load, on each of the uh, uh, nodes. Actually, can, can I don't? Sure. Thanks for getting right to the demo with this one. Before we get into the demo, I mean, sure. most of the people, I don't, I don't know, are familiar with the product itself, what the form factor is the, from the software perspective, where it goes. Now, where does where this software sit for a solution like this? In VMs in Google, or where, where is this? This exist? is, in that case, is even part of a VM, but it can be, uh, uh, a container within a VM, it can be a full VM, and it can be a bare bone. So it's software only. Yeah. Um, it's it's based on on Linux. Okay. So everything that can can run Linux uh, can run us. Of course, it doesn't doesn't mean that necessarily we support it as a product. That is something completely different. Okay. Because that means completely different things. But Technically, we can do that. So it's a file system in Linux? Like you provide a new file system type in Linux? Is that how you do it? It's a new file system in Linux. It's a, it's a distributed file system. We wrote it from scratch. It's nothing we borrowed uh, from anything else. And Ezra will... Just to clarify, it's exposed as an external file system. It's not exposed as a local file system. Okay. So, the, for example, the VM will expose an IP which you connect to through NFS v3, and then you mount it to whatever you want to do on your own workload. Okay. It's an example. You mentioned earlier that you support uh, hundreds of thousands of data containers. Is a container a file system or a file? Okay. A container is a, is a file system, and the concept is used by us uh, as a kind of management uh, entity. Container is the one that you apply policies to. For example, DDU policy, compression policy, DR policy, ILM policy, that's it for Howard, um, many other policies. Okay? That, that is the container level. Uh, synch uh, replication peering is in, the, in that uh, level, even though technically, and you will see that in, in Ezra part, we are able to uh, implement most of the feature in file or even sub-file level, but it's not something that a human can deal with. It, the human need, a human needs something that is much more, I don't know, means something higher kind of, of entity. So we come up with, with this uh, data container concept with, in fact, a, a, um, uh, a management concept. You mentioned unlimited files slash directories. Yes. Unlimited means uh, so many thousand containers, or sorry, hmm. unlimited files within a single container. Yes, the container is not to solve a kind of of scaling issues. It's just a kind of management issue. When I am I'm, I'm saying uh, infinite number of files, but I mean infinite number of files uh, that our bit uh, bit length can support, but the architecture. Right now, we, we support, I think, 64 bits for the files and directories. We believe that's enough. ZFS guys will tell you, no, you need 128. OK, when someone gets close to this, we will uh, uh, put 128 bits. And you also mentioned 1,000 nodes. Support for 1,000 physical Thousands. nodes. Thousands of nodes, you said. Thousands, yeah. Yes. yes. Is each one of those VMs considered a node? Okay, that is depends. In HCI mode, yes. In DSM mode, not necessarily. It depends. Okay, so I'm broadening your question to uh, what are we counting as nodes or not? 
if the, in DSM mode, in dedicated storage mode, we have in fact two modes. One of them is virtualized front end, meaning you're still running a kind of VM or uh, a logic on your applications to in, fig in fact uh, simplify the networking issues. If you don't want that, we can support also, also legacy external access, meaning just provide NFS or SMB over the network. In that case, you have to deal as a customer with the networking issues, multipathing and others, but then we are not even counting you as, as, a, as a VM because we don't care. In this, for example, example we are simulating 10K uh, 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 connections. So go, go back over this distinction here between nodes and non-nodes. In, 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 in the node environment, you actually have client software running yes. in a virtual machine? We, we are counting everything that we have set a, a, any logic running on it. So if it's, if it's external, completely external, and using us as a, through a standard so, NFS or SMB, yeah. we are not counting it. Right. But you can, you, you do offer support where it's, there's client and server software running on the same VM. Yes. In fact, uh, that's practically uh, dedicated storage mode. Right. This is standard uh, Google console. Uh, we are just showing that we are, ha we are having 100 uh, VMs. Uh, each VM has uh, three local SSDs attached. And uh, we use that local SSDs to implement our uh, uh, storage. Uh, we use, of course, only part of the uh, uh, node's core to, uh, as it's HCI mode, most of the cores belongs to the applications. This is our main uh, dashboard, and this is our main nodes view, just to see that we see everything. It's, it, they represent, each of them represent a standard Google VM. Okay, Shikhar, are you going to talk specifically about Amazon? If you want. Uh, I'm just not up on oh, the... Sorry. the on the Google Cloud architecture, but if I was doing this in Amazon, those local SST, SSDs, are those the ephemeral SSDs that come with the instance, or is that EBS? Okay, you, do, you can do both. In fact, I have to tell the truth that right now uh, we started with, uh, with uh, uh, Google for certain reasons. We also have similar deployment in Amazon. Uh, it's not production yet. Uh, in Google, we are trying both, uh, they, call, they don't call it EBS, they call it PD, yeah. the same. Uh, in Google, we, we are doing the same. It's a kind of trade-off. You get more capacity for a lower price, but uh, less performance. Uh, I believe that in, in EBS, uh, it will be the same. We didn't check it out, so uh, I don't want okay. to mislead you. So, so it's block storage that's available to the instance? Yes. Okay. Yes. So now we are running uh, uh, a load on each of these 100 nodes. We are using a standard uh, file system benchmark, but not as a benchmark. And I, you will see the name of it. So I, we are not even allowed to say that we are running it. So we are using it as a, lo as a loader, <laughs> not as a benchmark, OK? Mm -hmm. So don't look at the numbers. Leave it alone. <laughs> <coughs> we are not claiming that it's official or something. Yeah, that Oracle license will get you every time. Of course, the whole internet now sees the numbers, but that's besides the point. So see, uh, there is 10K connections, OK? <clears throat> and uh, we see 100 nodes. And then in a few seconds, we will see the, uh, uh, the load uh, uh, starting to kick in. OK, it skipped a little bit. And now we see uh, uh, a constant 888, and a very nice number. Uh, K, IOPS, if you will, see, you cannot see that, but because of the, this is a specific file system uh, benchmark that have uh, two thirds metadata operation and uh, uh, one third uh, uh, data operations with uh, uh, within 20% read, 10% write, uh, roughly, and the other are metadata. You can guess what we are running. Uh, and as you see, this is 
very, continues to be very, very stable over the entire test, and we reach uh, the uh, average latency was 1.3 at load, full load. Okay, this is Google. I can tell you about Google. Google are great. We love them. But <laughs> it's not, it's not enterprise uh, environment. Everything can happen in Google. And sometimes we, we, we have a bad Google day. We don't know why. <laughs> Things, we, we are talking with them and, uh, and they are very, very receptive and uh, they are fixing issues for us. It's great. They are really, really great guys. 